Well, hello and welcome back. And thank you for coming back today. Well, you've guessed it. We're in the downtown Cato Papos area and we are at a midpoint, shall we say, between the Papos Harbour and the Lighthouse Beach. And we are on a wonderful, wonderful, spectacular viewing point. But before we go on any more, I want to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Ochin Gracidia Leboeuf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. And thanks for coming back today. We're going to start on this race platform and we're going to go 360 and show you a great, great view. This is what's waiting for you when you arrive in downtown Cato Papos. Starting off with the extremities of the harbour. There is the castle. And now we're out into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Look at that tonight. Absolutely spectacular as the dark blue ocean mixes with the lighter blue of the sky. And we're going to come round and you're going to see the golden glow of the sun. And of course, the most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Ochin Gracivia Leboeuf. So, Miss Leboeuf, what have yes, you got to Mr. say? Paul, you know, this point, you point, it's so beautiful, it looks like you are in paradise. At the same time, you understand that you on the ground and you're not in the paradise and you're not flying and you're not dead. But this place here looks like a little paradise. The only shame is when people sitting and drinking here, if you think they shouldn't throw uh, cans and tins, you know, which I noticed just now. The rest is perfect. Yeah. Unfortunately, people do come out to these little viewing points. There's a little pier over there. Have a look at that one, which allows you to sit, as does this one, and admire the beauty and the tranquility of that blue, blue ocean. And they are scattered along this walkway that takes you from the downtown Cato Papas Harbour all the way. And in about 30 minutes, you arrive at the Lighthouse Beach. But as Gracibi Labouf is saying, unfortunately, people do sit here, have a can of this and a can of that. And they unfortunately do then chuck their cans and their rubbish down there, which is a shame. So please, we ask you, if you do come and frequent these areas with your loved ones, please do not chuck your litter. Please clean up because this place is absolutely beautiful. Have a look at that. And you've got two rival parasailing companies out there. You've got Nick's Water Sport, that's the furthest one over there. And you've got Captain Saba from the Papa's Water Sports and Boat Trips on that one. And there's a bunch of people having the time of their life. We understand a few people have been up now. Myself and Gracivi Labouf have done it. And in the end, Gracivi Labouf said that the paragliding was absolutely amazing. It was not that bad as I thought. But in the beginning, as it was going up and up in the air, I thought, my God, I'm giving a birth. It was so scary. Yeah, initially, if you don't understand what's going to happen, it is a bit scary as you first go up. But once you get into the flight, shall we say, you understand the calmness and the tranquility, and you understand the experience that the boat operators, the trip operators have got, and you are in very, very safe hands, and you get to admire the beauty of Paphos and the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea from a totally different angle and, of course, latitude. Now, stick with us. We're going to head back towards the Cato Paphos harbour area, and we'd like you to come with us. It's starting to pick up, and the sun is starting on its descent as it goes off to Cato, Australia. But don't worry. It'll be back at around 10 past 6 in the morning. So stick with us as we head back towards the Cato Paphos Harbour. You've got the castle just over there. And as I said, this is the pathway that links the harbour area with a place called the Lighthouse Beach. A quite a pleasant place to go. There is a cafeteria there. There is obviously a lighthouse there, hence the name. And there is a relaxing area and a beautiful, beautiful sandy beach. There's also an area where you can play volleyball. There's also a little tiny football pitch. There's quite a lot of things going on there and it takes you to the rear of the area known as Tomb of the Kings to give you a bearing as to where it is. So if you walk that way for 30 minutes, you will arrive at the Lighthouse Beach. If you then take a right and walk up towards the town area, that'll take you a further five to 10 minutes. And then you can actually come back 
round along Tomb the King's Avenue. And when you get to the end of that avenue, there's a roundabout. Then there's the Mall on your left. Take a right and you'll come down the road that we've often showed you under the Paphos Skywalk. And then that will bring you back to the Cato Paphos Harbour area. So it's quite a pleasant walk. We'll take you about an hour in total. And of course, there's plenty of places for you to get refreshments on the way. Vesivia? I remember when we did this walk to the lighthouse by the scooters. By the scooters, My yeah, God. that's right. We are, shall we say, not as stupid as some other channels. We don't walk that far because we don't actually have the time. Anyway, we got some scooters off Captain Cito. Those are the three-wheeler trikes that you've seen in our videos or you've seen on other people's videos. Or if you've been to Pathfinders, you've seen racing around. And they are great, great fun. If you hire them, they're 15 euros for an hour. 30 euros for two and a half hours because it gives you half an hour for free. 40 euros for the day. But please, please, please try and show a little bit of respect for the other people that may be on the walkways that you are blasting along. In fact, there's three of them just over there. Have a look at that. If you look beyond the railings of the cars, there are three lunatics. But they seem to be going quite slowly. Uh, but I've no doubt, once they find out the speed of them, they'll be going like the clappers. Vesivia? What about the big bird? Big boat, sorry. The big <laughs> bird, my daughter and her boyfriend are going to the Ocean Vision today. Yes, they are. So the reason why we are a little bit earlier tonight is because we've come down to the harbour to deliver the wonderful Gracivia Lebouf daughter miss ella and her boyfriend hopefully he's a keeper otherwise well we'll have to kill him obviously his name is constantinos and tonight they have been invited courtesy of ourselves obviously to go on the ocean vision so they're going to give us they are should we say that an in-depth insight into what's actually going on in that boat because we've not actually been on it because we don't actually have four hours or so to spare so they've gone on as the spies and they're going to mingle in with all the people on the boat normally around 250 people and it's the boat the big 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 boy in the arsenal ocean vision big big boat 12 and a half million euros is what it cost and you get on there for 75 euros a pop if you're a literally it's only 39 euros and you get to eat all you can eat and you get to drink all you can drink and you get to party there's djs there's entertainment and on a friday and a saturday night they even have a fireworks display so it's a great great night indeed and we know from people who've been on it they all say it's wonderful we waved off a mr owen and miss bev who are going to come back next year after they've got married in downtown durham and then they can come back here and have the honeymoon so mr owen miss bev we know from yourselves that you had a fantastic time and other people have told us the same we'll see well you. of course if you have never been in such a lovely places first of all you're very excited how it's gonna be is it gonna be nice or not am i going to be happy satisfied or not this is always uh, the task but then when people go there they like it so so much that they want to repeat it again yeah that's a common thing that's going on people have been on it and they go on it again they come back next year and they go on it again so that tells you something it must be something that really they enjoyed and they made it part of their holiday now remember there are other boats in the harbor we're just featuring that one tonight the ocean vision you've got the wave dancer who on the ground control is miss ruth another great great cruise now just over here arsenal vargum barris there we are he's not playing at the moment he's taking care of his little daughter i think it must be lunchtime there we go they're having something to eat that's my sophia massive smile on her face there we go you're right good excellent so please if you're coming past these people they play music, they're musicians, obviously, if you understand, and they are there to entertain you at this time. It's a little bit quiet, so they're having something to eat. But please, if you see them, that's a young family. He made a choice in his life, and he wants to be an entertainer. So if you've got a euro, two euros, five euros, 10 euros, 20 euros even, to you and to us, it is nothing. So please drop it in that tray and make their life that little bit easier. Remember, the season is quite short. Receiving. Yes, that's for sure. And they give in their energy, knowledge. They are, yeah. they are very good musicians. The, uh, both of them, by the way. They are, yeah. If, I mean, I mean, in my opinion, I don't want to insult someone, I believe his wife is better than him, or should we say the smile and the way that she delivers the music, I think, is I better than say, him. I would say, in fairness uh, to him, he is more professional. Yes, I agree and with that. she knows the notes, but she is more slow, and she knows only the repertoire of the same songs over yes. and over. Yeah, I, I agree with what Grisibi is saying. Hold on a minute. There he is. That's the boss. Don't let him tell you there's a manager. He oh, can three give. Drinks. Three drinks. Okay. Break. 
Let's get in now. Let's get in now. We'll come back. We'll come back. This is Stevie's bar, and that is Mr. Ooh. La 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 la. You always know him because he's got a great smile and a lovely hat. And he'll talk you into his bar, that's for sure. How are you and doing, Henry? most of you, you always say whenever you see me, you skip. Don't skip now. Subscribe. <laughs> there was a guy who said to me, yes? whenever I get to my talk, he always skip it. He yes. skips it? Well, he's joking. Uh, I hope so. Because <laughs> if we find out who you are, we'll come around there and we'll unsubscribe you permanently. Sorry, you come yes. you. Lovely, lovely. Right, Stevie's, there it is. It's either the first restaurant on your travels or the last restaurant on your travels, obviously. Depends and it's a very, very busy place indeed. So we you've got... We're going to go and get a free drink. Uh, not because of free no, drink, I Mr. Paul. I know that the money is not a problem for you, but uh, all the time when they invite us, yes, we refuse. Yes, we do. We do. So they're going to take it as an insult soon. So we're going to go there later and have a quick drink. Now, sale at the castle that's the sports bar side and that's the front of house and as you can see even early in the evening it's very busy indeed that's the manager there he is bistro Jalalamo. and there's the back house there's the man himself mr marios great great ice cream parlor thanks marios and a great great bistro restaurant indeed at this time of night it's not that busy but there are some prime seats taken over there that's miss layla she's a superstar and there he is, the manager, Mr. Ryan. He's like a James Bond impersonator, for the say. Now, the next restaurant, there it is. The Pelican Restaurant and Cafe. That's their back of house, and that's their front of house. We've got Mr. Andreas, and we've got Mr. George. There he is, the superstar, the absolute superstar. So if you want a discount on your food, pop in there and ask the man with the white beard, and you might get a slight discount if you're very, very lucky. Right, think, let's get have a look. Uh, yes. Shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. we're going to walk into the little area that we call the boat part of the harbour. Here we are. So we've got all the promoters going on. There's one of our Gumbaros. She's promoting for the Venus Sea Cruises. Really nice girl, speaks perfect English. We've got Miss Patricia. There she is. Welcome back, Patricia. Welcome back. She's been off on a little sabbatical, should we say. She's in charge of the turtle watching operation. And you've got Sweet Roxanne over there. She's in charge of the Blue Lagoon and most of the Paphos Sea Cruises. And guess what? She's in charge of this boat over here. And it is a big, big boy. We can't get too close because they are ramping up the music because they are getting ready to go. Now, on the first deck, right on the corner, You've got one of the oppos, and then next to him, you've got Major Tom. There he is. He's given instructions. And if we go to the second deck to the front there, you can see a man in a blue T-shirt. That's the captain. And he's going to take that boat out in around about 10 to 15 minutes. So 250 people are going to drink, eat, and party the night away. Paul, I've got the questions. Question. Do you think they've got a Wi-Fi on the boat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have Wi-Fi, yeah. So there's full Wi-Fi on there. You get to eat all you can, drink all you want. There's partying, there's all sorts of going on in that boat. And there's various different decks for sunbathing. You can go and do a bit of swimming. And I say, on a Friday and a Saturday night, they have a fireworks display. So it truly, truly is a great, great night out. 75 euros a pop, 39 if you are a little. Receive you? It's just about the time for them to start, I think. And I would like to see how it's starting. The boat should go, and I would like to see if it's possible. I think this is a, in two minutes, they're gonna get started. Right, stick with us. We're gonna take you out to another pivotal point, and we're gonna get a better view. Come on, Grisivia LaBeouf. Let's say thank you to Major Tom. Thanks, Tom. He's a star. He's made sure that everything's right. That boat's getting ready to leave, that's for sure, because now he has dismounted. And when he dismounts that boat, he's happy. All the safety and all the food and all the drinks and all the people are on, so it's gonna go. There you are, sweet Roxanne. She's a star. Speaks English, Greek, Romanian, and Russian. So if you are needing to get on a boat and you need a language, you pop and see her. There's the Pelican restaurant again. We're coming round. So we're gonna go around to the pivotal point and we're gonna wait for that big boy, the big, big ocean vision to depart. And of course the music's gonna bounce up, the lights are gonna come on, and the captain, whose name is Oma is going to sail that boat out and take those people out for a great, great night in... Knife? No, night indeed. Right, the next restaurant on our travels is ramping up. 
that is the King's Restaurant. There's the Gumbaru's in there. There's Mr. Harris himself on the rear table. Great, great guy. And they actually got a hotel called the King's Restaurant as well. On one of these days, Mr. Ronnie, we are gonna go and storm that hotel and make an especially, especially video for ye again. There we are, Captain Trent. He's in charge of operations. And there's his new Gumbaru. If you want a haircut, you go and see him. Apparently he's very, very good. Apparently he's better than his father, but don't tell his father that. There he is, Mr. Anthony. Thanks, Mr. Anthony. Now, over here, that is the big, big boy, the Ocean Vision. You're gonna pan around and you're gonna have a very, very good look at it. Have a look at that, that's a big boat. And the music is ramping up, that's for sure. Somewhere on that boat is Miss Ella and Mr. Constantinus. If you missed the start, Miss Ella is receiving a boost daughter. Mr. Constantinos, he's the boyfriend. He's apparently a keeper, if you understand me. But if he's not, well, we'll have to kill him. I think the music's Simple. gone higher That's right. now than louder. So therefore, I believe... The music is ramping up. So, as you understand, we need to get a little bit further away. But we are going to witness that boat going out. Mm -hmm. Because, to be honest, just watching it go out is a spectacle in itself. So, here we go. We're coming to the glass bottom super jumbo boat, and that's the boss himself, Mr. Rickos, you all right? Yeah. He's had a busy day today, as he said. More than 90 people were on the boat, so they had a very, very good day, and they all had a great lunch, and they all went swimming and that sort of stuff. Chrysilia? I would like to tell that one, uh, you know, one day we should try it. Yeah, one of these days that we'll go long, on it. Uh, but I haven't decided yet, should we do the daytime or the nighttime? It's a difficult one. To us, we're not complaining, but we do work as well. So fitting in, should we say, three 15, 20-minute videos in a day is nothing. But to try and go on a boat for four hours or two and a half hours, that's a long, long time indeed. Now, here is Manny Paphos. There he is. You all right, Mr. Yanis? I would like to show you my uh, secret. Secrets? Secrets, what I have. Show me. Be prepared. He's going to show us something. Let's have a look. What's going on here? He's hunting. All the, all the time I have my secret is my pack. This is the number one secret. It's very nice. Excellent. That's a very useful tool. Let's have a look at that. No, See? No, 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 no. He doesn't want to show it. He's got his after hours equipment, should we say. Here we go. What's he showing us? Oh, I like that one. That should do that again. And then what is what is happening? Look at that. Well, I think some people understand what it is. That, that gives you an electric shock. We'll see if we can borrow that later. I make you happy, yes. Excellent. 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 Yeah. Absolute superstar. So don't forget when you when when you're booking your cruise. When you're booking your cruise, and he does do a lot of cruises. He's got the Venus Sea Cruises, which is that one over there. Various different bits and bobs on it, obviously. You've got the Blue Lagoon cruises, 20 euros for an adult, 10 for a child plus the transfer, and you've got this one as well. And you've got his new baby, the Zorky. May I ask, do you like to go for a trip? On the what, the Zorky? Yes. We will nice. go, we will go, yeah, yeah. As it goes a bit cooler. I book you free, if you want. I understand. I pay you for you. Well, you won't pay, I understand that. I pay, I'm yeah. honest, if I you understand. want. I understand, I understand. Next, leave it till September, and we'll go. September is finished. Oh, <laughs> September is finished. Well, maybe next week. Maybe next week. You we'll come and see you afterwards. All right, lovely. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Janis. He's an absolute star. So please help these people out. Don't be thinking that the price of these boat trips or cruises goes up. It doesn't. The price is the same. All that happens is you're dealing with him rather than that office or that office. But the price is the same and they all get a little bit of commission. I would like to tell all of you, thank you, thank you so much for watching for your time. <clears throat> of course, we were waiting for that big boat to go through, to go to, to get started. But eventually, we understand that they need uh, certain preparations for it. And perhaps it's going to go a little bit later. We're loving you to it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay with us to see another of our nice and lovely madness. All that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe. Please come back for a little bit more of our madness. I'm going to show you from the promenade to the hotels to the Blue Sea, the big, big boat called Ocean Vision. Have a look at that.
Thank you very much.